There is new channel artwork. Look at it. Marvel at it. It's amazing. Trip Draws is awesome. This is the new artist. Trip Draws is freaking amazing at artwork. She's actually in training to be a tattoo artist currently, and it, she's been like hitting it hard on all kinds of artwork stuff lately, and it's just been amazing. But Trip Draws is awesome, basically. This is the new icon. Why I needed a new logo or icon or whatever you want to call it. It's a long and complicated story, but I'm going to try and boil it down. Uh, if some of you might remember Weishu, or you, you might know who she is, it's been a long time since she's been online. Uh, and that's part of the problem, is uh, when I first started this channel, I had contacted Weishu. Uh, I saw her artwork on Twitter and a few other places online, and I'm like, wow, that's a really cool style, and I want my channel icon like that. And halfway through the process of her making my logo, I found out she was, at that time, dating Jacksepticeye cool coincidence. I had no idea at the time. But that aside, um, I was young and stupid and didn't read through the contract very well and I didn't understand exactly how it worked. So I kind of just signed it and didn't think about it and like, hey, cool, I get to use this logo for the next 10 years. I had to look at the contract for that. It was weird. So I it, it come five years into using this logo, I started getting kind of worried because she had said she was going to go offline. And I reached out and said, hey, uh, w what's going to happen at the end of the 10 years? And crickets. And every time I've tried to contact her, it's been just crickets ever since. So I took it upon myself to take that contract and go talk to a few industry professionals, some con uh, people that understand copyright law and these kind of contracts. Not necessarily lawyers, but, you know, people in the industry. And basically it boiled down to if I can't contact Weishu, I need to either make a new one myself or commission a artist to make a brand new logo. So that's where this crappy SK logo came from. I made that myself in some 3D software, exported it, did some stylizing on it. It was okay. It wasn't great. I didn't fall in love with it. I thought it was cool, it did, but it doesn't really match my vibe. I kind of really wanted something that, you know, was a cartoon of my face. So that's where Trip Draws comes in. Uh, I went on Twitter and I asked, where can I get a cool logo? And I was inundated with bots. Trip Draws saved me. Thank you. So that being said we spent a couple months going back and forth on a couple ideas and she made this really cool artwork we had a few adjustments there at the very end it was a great process to work with trip and now we have this really cool logo and i get to use it everywhere we struck a new contract it's written in a way that benefits both of us long term so as soon as i start using it and as soon as i start either selling merch with it or whatever she gets a cut, I get a cut. It just works out. It's great. And that being said, with the new logo, there's like a renewed life to me, you know, the wanting to get going on this uh, this channel in the best way that I can with the limited time that I have. So going forward, the only thing you're going to see on this channel are indie games that I think are gems, diamonds in the rough, things that really deserve the focus of somebody who loves indie games uh, games and it's, it's, it's all going to be indie games uh, indie games that have unique gameplay mechanics or a heavily unique style stuff that really stands out that isn't the same churn and burn as AAA bullshit that you see all the time and really pushing that forward with keeping my authenticity without all of the retention editing and overreacting and garbage like that. So that's that's really the focus direction that I want to go with this stuff. So go follow Trip Draws. She's awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.